Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a radar type material that can be used as a little mini map or something. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just head over to my content browser and just right click, create a material called M underscore radar. Double click to open this up. I'm gonna change my material domain to user interface and blend mode will be masked. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just right click, create a text cord, text coordinate and connect this to a custom rotator to give our radar some sort of spinny type effect in order to just reveal enemies when it passes through. And this tutorial is just covering this material and we'll try to create functionality on our ongoing ACF to Cinti tutorial and Cinti to Unreal Engine 5 using the sci-fi HUD packs. And I'm gonna create a time node and I'm gonna multiply this to A and the negative value or the B value will be negative 0.5, like so. And now I'll connect this to the rotation angle and we're gonna right click and start previewing mode and you'll see that there's this rotating effect. And now from the rotated values, I actually wanna subtract this. I'm gonna get a subtract node, connect rotated values to A and then B will be 0.5. And I'm gonna right click and start previewing mode as well. And now you're gonna see this kind of, the UV is going crazy here. And now I'm just gonna connect this to a multiply node and I'll create a constant two vector simply by holding two on the keyboard and left clicking or just searching for a constant two vector like so. And the X for this will be one and the Y will be negative one. And I'll connect this to the B node and I'll preview the multiply node. And I'm gonna look for a vector to radial value. And I'll connect the multiply to the vector of UVs and I'll right click and start previewing. And now you can see that this little radar shape is starting to come along. So I'll hold A and left click to add a add mode. And I'm gonna connect this vector converted to angle to this add node. And I'm gonna right click and start previewing here. And for the percent, I'm gonna create a parameter by holding one and left clicking. And now I'm gonna right click and convert this to a parameter and I'll call this something like percent and the default will be 0.5 and I'll connect this to the B node like so. And now what I wanna do is just connect this to a radial gradient exponential and this will go into the... So now from our radial gradient exponential, we're just gonna add two constants so hold one on the keyboard and then left click twice, or you can just search for constant and add two of these values. And then I will set the top one to something like 0.77 and the bottom one to one. And the 0.77 will be my radius and then the one will be my density. And I'm just gonna copy these over down here and I'll right click on this and start previewing mode so that we have this radial exponential going in the back. And you can see it kind of fading out by the time it gets halfway around. And now down here, the one that we copy pasted I'm just going to set the value of this to something like 0.5. And then the value of this one will just be three for the density. And I'll right click this just or and start previewing just to show you what it looks like. So it's gonna look like this kind of background type gradient looking feature that we're gonna have our, our radar. So I'll move this back. So now let's add a multiply node and connect this to the B value and this to the A value. Multiplies in materials pretty much just adds these functions together. So you'll see that when I right click and start previewing mode, it's gonna add our radial effect in the circular shape. And now we're gonna add a lerp node or you can hold L on the keyboard and left click and we're gonna connect this multiply to the alpha. And the A and B will be our colors and the B node will be our bright color that we want as our radar. So I'm gonna hold three and left click on the keyboard to create a constant three, which is also our RGB values. And I'm just gonna multiply this to, uh, let me add a parameter for our B value so that we can adjust it. So I'm gonna hold one, right click and convert this to a parameter and I'll just leave the name as, let's say uh, color brightness. And I'll just set this as 1.5 for now and connect this to the B node. And for the color, I'll select something like, uh, let's say a little bit of a blue tint, like so. And I'll just connect this to the B value of this lerp node. And now let's make the radar blink. So what I'm gonna do is just move everything back a little bit. And over here, let me move this up just to give it more room. Now over here, I'm just gonna add a time node again and connect this to a sign like so, S-I-N-E. And now from our sign, I'm gonna hold A and left click to bring out an add node. And this is just to get rid of our negative value. And I'm gonna connect the sign to our A node. And then I'm just gonna multiply this as well. And I'm gonna multiply these together. So I'm gonna unpin this and actually connect this to this A node. And this add node will go to the B node. And then I'll connect this to the B itself. Now let's create a background texture that will connect to our A node. So I'm just gonna right click and look for a texture sample like so. 
And in our texture, I'm going to look for a, I'm going to look for this T grid. And I'm just using this just because everyone has this. It's part of Unreal. It comes in your engine content, as you can see in the path. And I'll right click and convert to a texture object. And if I right click and start previewing, start previewing node, you can see this kind of tic-tac-toe board looking thing. But we don't want this um, to be a checkerboard type thing. So what I'm actually going to do is turn this into a circular. So what we need to do for this is get a vector to radius. And what this means, or vector to radial value, and I'll right click and preview this multiply node. And I'm going to connect this RGB to the A. And I'm going to create a new multiply node. And I'm going to connect this RGB to the A here and actually right click to start previewing. And I'm going to connect the B of this color node that we created. And I'm going to connect this up here. And now you'll see my radius turning, turning blue. And this is giving that blinking effect that we created down here. And now we need to add these two together. So I'm going to hold A and left click, connect A to this multiply and B to this lerp node and just connect this as, as the final color. So you can tell that it is a square right now simply by seeing these corners. And I just want to get rid of that just to have this circle to look a lot more clear. So down here from our radial gradient exponential where our bottom nodes are, I'm just going to right click and look for a power node and I'll connect this radial gradient exponential here. And from here, I'm just going to connect this to the opacity mask like so. And you can see that we have a nice looking circular radar. And with these parameters, you can see that our color brightness will just change the value of our blue and the hue will go up by quite a bit. As you can see, it's like now really teal. If I do zero, it's just going to be black. 0.5 is going to be very dark. 1.5 is going to be our default. And you can also change this to whatever. So if you want to change this to something like green, something like red, and so on. And if you wanted to change the color in game, you can just right click and convert this to a parameter so that you can actually change change color to whatever you want. If for example, like if your HP is low and you want your entire UI to go red, you can just change this over to something like this. Or if there's a boss near you, then you can have your boss change the, co the color of your compass just so it looks like a, it's like a danger slash alert looking thing. But in my case, I won't do a parameter and I'll keep it as this nice kind of tinted blue as I did before. And now once that's done, we're going to create a plane and I'll just apply this material to show how it looks in game. So I'm just going to go to this add button, look for plane like so, and I'll just rotate this 90 degrees and I will make this fairly big. And you can also, it doesn't have to go on your character screen if you don't want it to. Of course, you can really just add this to like a TV screen or something. Um, you can just add this in like your base, for example, just to make it look nice. It's pretty optimized because it is just a material. And now when I apply this material by selecting M underscore radar and I hit play, you can see that you can see that this radar does show up and it has a really nice glow to it. And you're going to see this kind of light line. Uh, let's get rid of that. And in order to fix this kind of thick line, I just change this from radial coordinates to linear distance to the UV. And it gives me that nice circular, really smooth type of radar. So if I were to save this and go back to the map, you can see it displayed here. But yeah, this to me looks pretty good. It looks a bit sci-fi, so I like it. And yeah, so in our other tutorial series, we're going to make sure we can add sort of red dots. We're going to be making this a bit more blue, I guess, low poly looking as in like, is this going to be a full blue circle? And then you can just see red dots kind of come on your screen, which are going to signify the enemies. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.